How's it going, guys? Like Tom, man. How you doing today? First, show you my little. This is my little test stand. You can get these over at uh, Lowe's or Atwoods or whatever. But anyway, check out this antenna I got. You can get a good look at that or not. But uh, I picked this up and doing a review on it. Um, it's like a hundred bucks on Amazon. It's a HF all band antenna. Kind of got to do a full review on it and see what we think about it. I just got it on this temporary here. If I like it, I'll go ahead and mount it up high. But these, uh, like I said, this little T post is great for just doing a little test. But anyway, we'll see how she goes. Okay, guys, let's get into testing this antenna. Um, it can go by the Sigma 360, the Taurus, uh, I think they call it SEHF 360. I actually picked it up off of Amazon. And uh, they call it the Harvest Taurus JN316. It goes by a bunch of different names, but basically it's all the same thing. It's a it's a four piece fiberglass um, HF vertical antenna. It uh it has basically a three fiberglass pieces in the end pieces a stainless steel whip that goes on the top. Um, nothing to show on assembling. I thought about assembling, but basically you screw it together. You slide the stainless steel whip in the top and tighten the screws. Which, by the way, on that, on that very the stainless steel tip part, I think you want to bottom it out. From what I could tell, it doesn't really connect to the metal part. It connects to inside the tube. There's a there's a slide that it slides into. I wouldn't try tuning any there. I just bottomed it out and tightened the set screws. So that's where we're going from there. I, I don't really. I mean, I guess there might be a little bit of tuning in it, but I don't think a couple inches is going to make any difference on a multi-mode HF antenna anyway. So, like I said, I just bottomed it out as far as assembling. But let's kind of go get, go ahead and get into the uh, the particulars of it here. And uh, basically, I showed you the outside what it looks like. I mean, it's an antenna. I got it five feet off the ground right now. And uh, we're going to use my little SWR analyzer here and uh, kind of see where it's resonant at. With uh, We're going to run it straight through, no tuning at all. And I'm just going to run it, you know, straight through, and we're going to see where it's resonant at. Um, I can already tell you, um, I've already played with it, and uh, its its favorite spot is definitely, it's it's a uh, to me it's a 40 meter antenna. A lot of a lot of people say it's a 20 meter antenna. Mine doesn't seem to. I mean, it tunes okay at, at 20, but it is just resonant at 40. I don't have to do anything at 40. But anyway, we'll kind of start at the top here. I got our 32 megahertz. Hopefully, you get a good view of this, and uh, we'll go ahead and go down. And of course. This tuner, I gotta switch it around. But if you watched uh, right here, guys, this is your SWR, and I, like I said, I'm just running it straight through. Well, on a on 10 meter, we'll just do like 28300, 28, and we're at 1.7 SWR. Definitely easily tune that with a tuner down. I mean, you could run it that way straight out, and it, it you know you could use an internal tuner if you have an internal tuner in your radio. But I mean, one one seven is not bad. I mean, it's definitely a definitely a a resonant frequency so we'll go ahead and go down from there oops I'm going up I'm going to go down and you get into the CB range and you can see it goes up we'll put it at 27 well we'll put like channel 19 here about 27 200 right around that area and you can see you're running about oh what 2.2 to 1 so yeah, you you wouldn't want to run this without a tuner as far as on 11 meter, but it but I I'll show you here. I kind of show you. We'll listen to it and I'll show you. It, it performs well on 11 meter. I mean, you could use an 11 meter antenna, but it's really this is a multi mode HF antenna. You know, it's supposed to do from it's supposed to do a 10, 20, 40, and 80 80 meters is what it's supposed to do. And so far, I've showed you 10 and uh, and 11. Of course, 10 and 11 are so close together. You know you. They kind of, if you got a 10 of the tune on 10, usually it'll tune on 11. But anyway, so now that we're going to keep on going down here. I don't know how far I can go down before I have to flip the switch. I don't think I, yeah, I'm going to have to go down another level. So now we're going to go down to the next one. And now we're going to go to, uh, oops, I'm going to have to go back up here. We'll go up to the uh, 20 meter. Which to me, like I said, 20 meter is not real impressive. It, uh, 14 we'll go about 14 two. it runs about two what, about 2.3 2.5 and the 14 so I mean it's got a resonance there you can see it and it's definitely an amateur band and again you can tune it there no problem at all um, that's 20 and then we'll go to 40 which I don't know if this will go all the way down to 40 or if I have to switch it again 
let's see here. So, no, we're not going to go down. If, okay, so let me switch again. So now we're going to go 40 meter. Get her back up here. And we're right in the, let's see here. Right there is a 40 meter. Look at that. It's, this, it's flat SWR. I mean, it's one to one. And that's at 7.2 yeah, 7.2 megahertz. So, so to me, it is it is a 40 meter talker. I mean, if you want a 40 meter vertical, this is the guy to go to. I mean, it is, I, there's no tuning required. And it pretty much stays under 1.3 the whole, the whole uh, 40 meter band. And then we'll go ahead and go to 80 meter. I think I can go down to 80 meter on this, yeah. And uh, to me, 80 meters where it's really lacking. Um, but you know, on these verticals, we kind of tend to run into that. But uh, see here, we're right there's we're another 80 meter, and look, we're at three point something. You have to you have to really tune the heck out of it to get any more than that. Um, it's just it's not really resonant on 80. I would say it's a good 10, 11, 20, and 40 meter. And I mean, if you had 60 meter, um, it would it does it good, but it just doesn't quite. I mean, I could tune it to 80 meter, but uh, you know, I could tune it to 160 meter, but uh, but as far as performance wise, I think it's it's really a 20 and 40 meter and a, and a 10 meter antenna. Anyway, we'll go ahead and listen to a little skip now. I kind of just wanted to go over the tuner where it shows it at, and uh, we'll just kind of do a little flipping around here, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm seeing as far as the radio goes. Let's see what she does. Like I said, I'm going straight through coax one, straight through right now. Let's see if we can catch some of this. I don't know how the skip's running right now. There we go. And uh, SWR on it. This is just straight through. It's really not bad. I mean, uh, we're showing it through my tuner, uh, 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, Where's my little old deal there? But, uh, I mean, not, not bad. And that, that's straight through. I can tune it. And I uh, get it flat. And, uh, of course, that's about 18 watts there. But, but see, I'm running, I'm running almost flat SWR there. So it can tune good and... As you can tell, she definitely uh, she definitely receives the skip. So so she does get on eleven meter, and then we'll go ahead and uh, let's see. We can switch her over to uh, try to figure out ten meter. I guess I'd go over to the this radio. I don't know if I got a good way to. We'll just do that right there. There we go. There we go. Uh, you got a very, very good signal here in Connecticut. Um, in northeastern Connecticut. Uh, so you do a fantastic So as you can job. tell, it does 10 meter uh, pretty damn good too. Uh, I mean, town of Ashford, not bad. Uh, my name is and I haven't even tuned the SWR, but I could tune it flat. In fact, the internal tuner in the 991A will tune it now for SWR. But I just want anyone to show you receive on it and what it'll do. What is the SWR just setting your stock? Well, Joe, tell me, what's your antenna? Radio antenna? I'm only running 1.5 SWR right now anyway. See, you see, see my SWR there. But anyway, I don't want to interrupt their call. Just wanted to show you. That was Connecticut, and California. And I was getting both parts of the conversation, so so we're not going to complain about that. How much power are you using? Let's go ahead and go to 20 meter now. Oh, fantastic job, excellent, excellent job. Now, the Amtron, is that mounted on a um, uh, automobile car or uh, the QTH? He's talking on the Amtron, that's funny. Anyway, let's go to 20 meters. Really, really good. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate the call. Uh, and keep chugging. Uh, if nobody calls, you call, you know. 
See if we'll get anything on 20 later. As you can see, again, performing well on 20 meter. Not no tuner or nothing. This stuff here is a little high on 20, like I said. It, I have to tune it, which let me go ahead and tune it. Okay, we're down about 1.1 of one SWR there on 20 meter now. As you can see, she performs not bad, not bad on 20 meter. And as you saw, I had the SWR down to one to one with a little bit of tuning. Uh, let's go ahead and go to. This is my favorite, the 40 meter. We'll go ahead and kick in here on the 40 meter. And uh, I'm gonna go back to just straight through, no tuner at all. Don't need one on this one. Listen to that. That's straight through, no tuning. And we'll look at the SWR. It's flat, just flat. I'll tell you, this is a 40 meter talker. Go back to sideband so we can hear him. I was going to see if I could do a connection, but I don't want to interrupt you guys. It talks, I promise you. It talks just as good as it receives. And then we'll go to 80 meter. On 80 meter, I got to tune the heck out of it. I can get it down. Um, I'll show you here. Go ahead and tune her down here a little bit. There we go. I can get her down to so I can get her down to what S one point two. Not bad. I mean that's acceptable S W R but definitely not a strong point on any man. See if I can pick anything up here. See if there's anything running up here. It's off an 80 meter anyway, but. Not hearing anything. Anyway, guys, that you know covers them all. Like I said, 80 is kind of its weak point. It does work on 80. I've got some contacts on it, but definitely not a strong point. But uh, anyway, guys, I don't know if there's anything else I need to show you on it. I just kind of wanted to show you what I found out about this. It's 105. dollars I mean, think about it. I mean, we're talking. I'm providing. I'm no sponsor, or nothing. I just bought it off of there, but. You can pick it up off of eBay and several other places, and it goes, like I said, by different names, but uh, 
I mean, shoot, you know, for a hundred and five dollars, I'm totally happy. And uh, I mean, she's a super performer on the old forty meter. And I mean, as you can tell, it does good on ten and eleven too. I mean, to me, it's a, it's they call it a five band or a four band. I guess a 10, 10 20, 40, and eighty. It's really a three band, or I, I I'll call it a four band. It's a ten, eleven, twenty, and forty meter. And eighty, you could yeah, I proved it. You can tune it, and uh, it'll work. But uh, you're not, you know you're losing performance on that. I I wouldn't expect to get a high performance out of eighty meter on it, but forty meter, it's man, it's spot on, and, and really the rest of them it's solid too. So anyway, guys, hopefully I'm not rambling on too long about this. I just kind of wanted to uh, give you a review on this antenna. I am gonna go ahead and put it up high. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it'll do me good for uh, for my HF. I run a dipole too, but uh, every once in a while a vertical just does better than a vibe dipole. I guess it depends on the propagation. But uh, anyway, guys, as always, have a great day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And always give me a thumbs up and, and give me any comments if you got anything uh, you want to ask or anything. I'll be happy to try to help you out on it. Electron Man.